Hi, welcome to Traveling with John, where I bring you tips, information on um, different things related to travel and cruising. Today's video is about things I wish I knew when I first started cruising. Um, there's a lot of new cruisers in the world, and um, there are some things that um, a lot of new cruisers that I've talked to didn't realize um, was a thing when they boarded their cruise. They assumed that a lot of things had to you had to pay for as an extra. Now that's true with a lot of cruise lines um, like specialty dining, steakhouse, um, Italian, cappuccino, um, has a fee for you know dining in that particular restaurant but there's a lot of you know free dining options on a cruise ship um, main dining room you can eat in the main dining room anytime that it is open um, you can check the menu options on your app on your phone um, each cruise line has their own particular app app and so you can just look on the app you can see what's offered and during your dining time that you um, select when you um, look at your cruise manager will tell you what time you're dining but you can look at the menu and see what's available for that um, sea day brunch or the dinner and it saves a lot of time because you know a lot of times we're not interested in the menu that particular night. We'll just go to, you know, like the Lido. We'll grab um, a guy's burger. We'll grab um, blue iguana, the delicious tacos, um, shrimp bowls that they offer, or the pizza pirate seafood shack or even um the deli is so many options that are free and if you don't know you can always just go up to the particular place on the ship and you can ask any of the staff um is there an extra charge for me to dine at this location a lot of times um it's not but it doesn't hurt to ask and you know you'll It'll just make your trip so much easier, so much re more relaxing and fun. Another thing, excursions. Um, in this day and age, um, it's best to purchase your, your uh, cruise excursion from the cruise line itself. There's a lot of reputable cruise line. Um, excursion companies that are out there that are slowly coming back online and given you know the tours with great service that knows the ship schedule and will get you back in time to the ship it's just <laughs> a little bit better during this time to spend a little bit more money and pay for the um, ship excursion it just guarantees that if there's an accident, um, something happens on the tour, the transportation runs, you know, happens to have a flat tire or some kind of mechanical issue, they will notify the ship because it's a ship excursion. They have contact with the ship. They can let you know and the ship will not leave you. So you don't have to worry about pulling out money out of your own pocket to fly to the next destination. The ship will wait for you because you purchased that excursion on the ship. And it's a lot less stressful. <laughs> I mean, because a lot of the ports, um, the actual excursion is an hour drive away, sometimes two. And, you know, it's... It's nerve-wracking. Now, I've done ship purchase excursions, and I've done, you know, 
ones where you just go outside the ship and they have booths that you know at different locations that you can purchase excursion and they've been fine they've been fine and you know i haven't had any issues but in this day and age i just feel that you need to um, protect yourself <laughs> and just purchase spend a little bit more money and purchase that um, ship excursion and then that way everything is good all right leave comments i love to read them thank you for watching remember to like and subscribe and you know take care and i'll see you next time bye